Hey, what's up? My name's Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller. Today I'm going to be going over the items that I'm getting listed as fast as possible because the winter season is ending. I'm noticing at my thrift store that the prices on the winter items are coming down because they're trying to get rid of those items before the spring comes. So I'm trying to buy them when they're a good deal, but I'm really focusing on the items that are going to sell quickly and I'm trying to get them listed as quickly as possible. So hopefully I can sell a lot of them before the spring actually is here. I do try to just buy good items all year round and I do prioritize listing the items that are in season uh, but I would still recommend if your business can afford it to just buy good items at good prices when you find them so let's jump into these items I'll let you know the winter items I'm still picking up this first item is a vintage sweater this is hand knit and it is wool as well the colors on this are awesome and it also is very textured and it has like that 3D knitting that Kuji made famous so I'm not gonna put Kuji in the title because this is not a Kuji and that is a Vero to market this as a brand that it's not. Uh, but I am gonna put 3D knit. That is the keyword that is gonna sell this quickly. Uh, I didn't look it up because I'm basing this off of the style, not the brand. Uh, the brand is Colors by Alexander Julian. So I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt the value, but I would say for a 3D knit, wool sweater like this, uh, it's at least 50 bucks. And I paid 750. I paid 12 bucks for this Patagucci uh, fleece here. This is the snap tee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up the style code on this and get the exact model number. So the style code on this tag is STY25442. So I go to eBay, I type in Patagonia 25442. That's gonna pull up the exact model of what these are selling for. And when I did that in the store, these were still selling for 30 to 40, sometimes $45. Uh, so with this nice color, I would guess probably a quick $35 sale if I wanna sell it uh, before winter's over. I paid 12 bucks for this Orvis jacket as well. Uh, this is like a really heavyweight uh, canvasy material and with the outerwear with Orvis I still have had really good success with it this year uh, and this is size XL and I don't know if this is one of the waxed ones uh, but it does kind of have that feel to it um, on Orvis you can actually do a style code on this one as well uh, on the little material tag on the bottom side there's a little number there so I'm gonna use that to find the style of this jacket and get it sold for a little more money. For a lot of these winter items, I'm gonna tell you guys the price that I'm gonna to try to sell it for, but that's considering that I'm trying to sell this quickly. So for this jacket, you know, in the middle of winter, I might list it for 45, 50 bucks and try to get somewhere between 40 and $50. Uh, but because I'm trying to sell this quick, I'm probably gonna list this at 35, just try to sell it for 30 bucks, uh, make my 15 to $20 profit and get it out of here. I paid 750 for this Eddie Bauer jacket. Uh, this is flan on the outside and it has the quilted lining. The reason that I picked this one up is it's size 2XL, which will help it sell quick. And this is just in really good condition and a really nice basic at 750. This is an easy 25, 30 bucks. I paid five bucks for these vintage camo cargo pants. This is from the brand Liberty. They do make some overalls and some old denim and things like that. Uh, these are gonna be a little bit of a slower sale, but I couldn't pass up these vintage Nua Tags camo pants for only five bucks. So I just grabbed them and I grabbed another pair of these as well. We'll see later. I paid five bucks for this LL Bean flannel. Reason I was willing to pick this one up is it is size three XL and it has this uh, nice striped pattern on it because most of them are either plaid or solid. Uh, so I still think this will sell quick based on the pattern and the size for 25 bucks. I paid 12 bucks for this Duluth jacket. This has the nice snap buttons and has the pockets and flannel lining on the inside and it's in a plaid colorway. So all those things combined, I think that'll help it sell a little bit quicker than typically. I sold these for 40, 50, 60 bucks all throughout the winter, but I'll shoot on the lower side, maybe 40 bucks to get this sold quickly. Here's another $5 LL Bean flannel. I paid five bucks, sell it for 25 because it's size three XL. Paid $7.50 for this LLB knit jacket. This is a modern style with the modern logo. Uh, so that means I'll be able to find the six digit item number on the tag, type that in and get the exact model number and probably get this sold quickly if I had to guess for 25 to 30 bucks. The item ID on this is 513823. 
Once again, I've gone over this a few times, but on the LL Bean, you're looking for that item ID number. So that's the six digit number. I'm gonna type that into Google first, try to find the model name. Then I type the model name into eBay and see what they're selling for. This next item was definitely my find of the day. This is a beautiful camo insulated jacket. It's from the brand Cabela's. It's very old, it's made in USA. And you'll see I paid up, the tag was $45. I did have 25% off. So let's say it was about 35 bucks or so. The tag is very worn, so it's kind of hard to read, but I believe this says men's large. And it looks about that because, you know, it's going to be oversized. When I saw this on the new rack, I, it immediately jumped out to me because it was a camo pattern that I did not immediately recognize. So there's very basic camo patterns we see all the time and they're all over the shelves. They're all throughout Walmart and all that stuff. But there's certain camo prints that really are rare and stuff they don't even make anymore. So when I saw this, like, brown orange color instead of the typical green and brown color it really stood out to me to find the name of this camo what i did was i typed in some features of this jacket uh, this was gore-tex i saw on the inside so i typed in vintage cabela's insulated jacket gore-tex to try to get myself seeing items like this and then i noticed that all the ones that had this pattern either said cloud camo or frog skin camo so i typed in cabela's vintage frog skin camo jacket and then all of the results looked exactly like this jacket so that's how i was able to figure out what the camo was called but that keyword in specific is what's going to bring the money when it comes to this jacket i did see one comp of 300 dollars uh, that's probably if i waited out so i'm just going to say that this is about a 200 dollars jacket i paid 750 for this ll bean sweater fleece that's what they call their version of the patagonia better sweater where it has this knit outside and this nice fleece on the inside. These do have the item ID as well, and that will bring up exactly what I just shared, that this is called the sweater fleece. I've been selling these for about 25 to 30 bucks. This next item is a Patagonia hoodie. I only paid $3 for this. This is in very worn condition and really in rough shape, but for three bucks, I like to pick up anything Patagonia because I know that at the minimum, I can sell this for 15 bucks and it's really easy to list, store, and ship. So even with the damage, um, it's still in good structural condition. It just, the graphic is kind of peeling a little bit, um, but Patagonia is just one of those brands. I try to pick it up anytime I can. I paid about five bucks for this fleece vest the brand on this one is cool k-u-h-l i noticed it because of this little emblem on the back and also that was on the tag now i believe on these skinnier tags this means that it is a women's item so this is women's xl but just like most outdoor brands there is a style code so if you go onto this back little tag under the material tag you'll see that four digit code there, 4211. So I'm gonna type that into Google or eBay, see which one helps me find out exactly what this is called and get it sold quicker. I would guess this is a $30 vest. I paid 15 bucks for this North Face puffer. This is Goose Down insulated and this is the 550 model. I sold one just like this about a month ago for 50, 60 bucks. This one's worth slightly less because the other one was 700 fill and this one's only 550, but I still think this is a very quick $40 sale. Here's the other pair of those camo pants. Once again, five bucks, uh, and I'll probably list these for about 30, uh, but I'd be willing to take anything between 20 and 30. This was definitely my second best find of the day. Uh, this is a Cotopaxi jacket. That's the brand you're looking for. And here's their logo. This is an excellent outdoors brand. I did pay up for this. This was marked at 60, but I had 25% off, so I paid 45 for it. But this was actually still new with tags. It would have been close if it was used because it's still probably a $100 jacket. Uh, but at new with the retail price of $230, I knew that I couldn't leave this behind even for $45. I'm guessing because it's new with tags, this will be close to $120 to $150 jacket. I paid 15 bucks for this men's Patagonia soft shell jacket. Uh, this is just a basic one, but these still sell quick because Patagonia moves so well. Uh, so I would say this is about a $40 jacket. I hadn't found Patagonia in a few weeks, so I was happy that I was able to grab a few pieces, but here's another one. This is just a very basic fleece pullover. Uh, nothing special about this one at all, but it is men's size large and I only paid $7.50, so still happy to sell this quick for 25 bucks. I paid 12 bucks for this Levi's denim jacket. Uh, the reason that I was really drawn to this one is it has that leather patch and the Levi's premium tag. 
This is kind of what you're looking for. I look for the jeans that have this as well. That just adds a little bit of value to these. So I'll have to look up exactly what this one is worth and what the style is. I believe this is type three when it has these kind of lines going down the front with the two pockets here. Um, so I believe this is a type three trucker jacket, uh, but I'll look that up to make sure. And because this is a Levi's premium, I'm hoping I can get 35 bucks for it. I paid 12 bucks for this Wallace and Barnes flannel, but this was new at tags and it was size 2XL. So I really thought that that was going to be a combination that would get this selling quick. I've never found a flannel from this brand before, let alone new at tags. So I don't really know the market. I just know that this brand has always sold really fast for me. So if I had to put a number on it, I would guess of $40 sale but sells fast. I paid $7.50 for this Orvis jacket. This is a very heavyweight flannel uh, full button up jacket. It has the pockets on the side as well and I believe it's fleece no, it's not fleece lined, but I sold a few of these this winter in the blue colorway and actually found another one of those, but they sold really well for about 30 bucks. This next item is a women's LL Bean flannel. It's in size small petite, so really not a good size. Uh, I really wouldn't recommend this item at all, but I did only pay $2 for it after all the discounts, so I really didn't want to leave that behind for only two bucks because I know worst case scenario, it's a nice sale for 15 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Carhartt flannel. This one's a really heavyweight one, really nice material. Uh, size XL loose fit in the red color. And Carhartt's another one of those brands where they have a nice, easy to find model number down there on the bottom left. So I'm gonna type that in 105439. The next three digits, R64, are for the color. So R64 is for uh, probably this red and black plaid colorway. So I'm just gonna go into eBay and type in Carhartt 105439 and see what I find and use the model name to get a little bit more for this. I would say this is a $25 item. Here's that other Orvis jacket I was talking about in the blue colorway. Paid $750 for this one as well. I wanna say this is called like the Big Bear jacket or something along those lines. Uh, I'll put a comp on the screen. Paid $7.50 for this Patagonia Better sweater. Was really stoked to find this because I'd been on a dry spell like I mentioned. Uh, so happy to pick this up. It was on the half off color. So with the discounts, it takes it down to $7.50. And once again, I'm gonna use the style code to figure out if this is men's or women's and what the actual like colorway is. It says the style code is 25617 and the colorway is ATBL. So I'm guessing that's gonna be like Atlantic blue or Something with AT and blue, because uh, this is blue, obviously. So uh, the better sweater, this is only the quarter zip, so I would say this is still a $40 item. I paid five bucks for this vintage chamois flannel. It actually is a Carhartt one, which I've never seen before, but it's on a super old made in USA uh, union tag. Um, so I'm very curious to look this up. I didn't even look it up at five bucks um, because I just know the chamois flannel sells so well and vintage Carhartt is so collectible. Uh, so if I had to guess, probably 25 bucks. I paid 12 bucks for this Vineyard Vine sweater. The reason I picked this one up for 12 bucks is it's merino wool and it also is plaid, which most of their sweaters are actually just solid or striped. So between those two things, the plaid will get it selling quicker and the merino wool raises the value a little bit. So I think this will be a quick $30 sale. I paid three bucks for this Travis Matthew polo. This is nothing to write home about. It's just kind of a basic item, but because it was only three bucks, I just knew this would be a great bread and butter item to sell this between 15 and 20. I paid 750 for this Brooks Brothers collared sweater. The reason I paid up on this one is it was 100% merino wool. So Brooks Brothers merino wool has sold amazing for me this winter. Um, so I definitely wasn't gonna leave this one behind. Probably $25 item. I paid five bucks for this vintage sweater. This was 100% Shetland wool made in Ireland. So that's what alerted me to look this one up. And I looked it up and the brand is Christopher Hayes and they were selling great. So I would say this is about a $25 sale if I wanna sell it quickly this winter. I paid six bucks for this chamois flannel. This is an LL Bean one. Uh, the reason I grabbed this one is it's size XL tall. So that's gonna help this one sell quicker. Uh, this one does seem less soft than normal, so I wonder if this one's been like overwashed or something. Uh, so I'm gonna have to probably take a little bit less on it uh, just because of the condition. So I would say probably 15 to 20. Paid four bucks for this Columbia shirt. I really don't pick up many Columbia shirts, but this one is corduroy. It's vintage. It kind of has like a camo-y slash 
uh, deer antler print on it. Um, it just really stood out to me and really most things that are unique if I'm picking it up under five bucks in a brand that has a solid brand recognition, that's gonna be worthwhile because I can sell this for about 20 bucks. So I'll look it up and see if I can get a little bit more for it, uh, but most likely about 20. I just made a video about how much money you can actually make selling items just like this. So be sure to check that one out, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.